artificial intelligence will impact not only the US markets, but markets around the world. And more importantly, what you can do to benefit from this. I truly believe that artificial intelligence isn't even here yet, especially as it relates to the stock market. You've heard tons of buzzwords about, oh, I use AI and algorithms and machine learning. No, they don't. No way. <laughs> Anyone who's selling you a product for $200 definitely doesn't have machine learning or AI. What they probably have is webhooks and some really cool API interface that ports information from one place to another. But that's essentially a low end, low cost algorithm. That's certainly not AI, which stands for artificial intelligence. Right now in the market, there really isn't a whole bunch of public domain accessible artificial intelligence that's sitting there thinking, how can I interact with the market? And more importantly, how can I beat the humans that are trading against me? The big problem, of course, is when this does happen is it's going to be ugly. Now, what the heck is going on down here? Uh, I don't know. All of a sudden here, we started hearing screaming, bye, bye, bye. If you ever look up chess bots, there have been many, many chess bots that have been built that absolutely obliterate all human players. Check me. That was horrible. I never want to do that again. Some of the best chess players in the world have a very, very tough time beating the most mediocre of chess bots or artificial intelligence. And it's because they're able to take all the information, all the moves possible and merge into what's the most difficult for an opponent. Is the stock market going to do that? Well, not really, because if you think about the goal of the stock market, it's not necessarily to beat opponents as much as it is to make as much money as possible. So in my opinion, what's gonna happen with the stock market and AI is you're just gonna get bigger, longer ranges than most humans are comfortable with. So you're gonna have more sustained bullishness, the longer moves of both ups and downs, because generally humans kind of freak out over a period of time if something too good is happening too repetitively. I don't know what we're yelling about! Up day, up day, up day, up day, up day, up day. You feeling uncomfortable yet? Up day. When's it gonna pull back? Up day. I think that's what's gonna happen with AI. We're gonna start getting longer trends, both bullish and bearish, because robots don't care. And they can stay awake all day, all the time, without ever sleeping, pressing buttons. Which brings me to my number two way I think AI really will impact the markets, 24 hour markets. And I've been calling this one for a while. Granted, I've been off probably about three or four years, but let's just say in the next decade, I think 24 markets will be here. When I say 24 markets, I do kind of mean crypto markets. Cryptocurrencies trade 24 seven. If you're on Binance, Coinbase, Kraken, Gemini, they're everywhere. And people interact with the crypto markets 24 hours a day globally. Well, right now the US stock market is closed from 4 p.m. Eastern until 9.30 p.m. Eastern, and it's closed on Saturdays and Sundays. But I think in a decade from now, you will have not only necessarily AI, but more importantly, just robotic exchanges that are able to collect all this data from all types of traders, be it human traders, algorithms, artificial intelligence, your grandmother, people who are interacting with the markets all hours of the day. Right now, it actually has become so much easier to trade post and pre-market. You might've noticed that if you use interactive brokers or Thinkorswim, they have a great platform called the GTC or EXT orders, good till cancel plus extended hours. It's becoming a little bit easier to trade certain stocks, Tesla, Amazon, Apple, and some of the bigger, more voluminous companies pre and post market. But already right now we have futures, we have Forex, we have commodities, and we have cryptocurrencies. And I think within the next 10 years, we'll have stocks and probably even options. Currently right now, we also have zero DTE options on most indexes, right? The S&P, the NASDAQ, SPY and the Qs and the Dow Jones. And again, we're getting closer and closer and closer on that window. Which brings me to my third point. We'll probably get a bunch more volume in the markets. About six years ago, I mentioned with Robinhood coming into the markets that Robinhood would add tons of liquidity to the markets because now you've opened up a pool of millions of people that may only have 20 or $30 to put in every single month. But if you do the math, 10 million people adding $20 a month to an account, 
That's $200 million every single month that's now flooding into the markets that weren't there. That's gonna add up at some point. Artificial intelligence is gonna do the exact same. It's gonna be even more teachers, students, machine learning specialists, data-driven engineers, people who work a lot with computer sciences who might not be openly readily trading the markets currently, who will be using their automated trading, who will be using their robots, who will be using their algorithms, and maybe in the near future, AI. Make sure that you never confuse artificial intelligence with algorithms. They are two very different things. AI is just here to learn, to study, which I think has nothing to do with algorithms. Algorithms is just a math formula. If you put garbage code in, you're gonna get garbage code out. And there are tons of high frequency trading companies that also go belly up because their algorithms are bad or the machine learning isn't spectacular or their AI doesn't exist and they sold a bunch of investors and investors think that it did and it turns out it was just a bunch of people trying to place trades that weren't very good in the first place. Keep in mind, just because you have artificial intelligence or algorithms doesn't mean you're gonna win in the markets because you're not the only player. There's always other people competing, not to beat you necessarily, but to make more money, either up, down, and of course, sideways with option selling. Therefore, I want this video to be more about how you can benefit from AI and all of the competition that will be flooding the markets. First and foremost, which stocks should you be buying that will benefit the most from the artificial intelligence explosion? First and foremost, you probably haven't heard of this ETF, but if you have, hit me with a subscribe and a thumbs up in the comments. But this is BOTS, B-O-T-Z. Hit me with some BOTS. BOTS is an ETF that's comprised of robotics and artificial intelligence companies, companies that are working on those domains, those industries, and those softwares. It's really like an amalgamation pool of companies that are doing okay. What I like about this ETF is it's not overly volatile, although, you know, it moves a decent amount. It's not very expensive, right? Right now being at $20.59 a share, if I zoom into a daily chart, it probably is gonna be ready for a pullback. Yep, so I would love to buy this around 26.50, which you'll probably get that opportunity in the next couple of months. But if you can buy this particular ETF low enough, or maybe you dollar cost averaging over a period of time, I think this one's gonna be going higher. And we can see that it's already been up in its previous history up to 40. Is it gonna go up there again? Most likely. Now, some of the other names on the AI front, I still don't know a lot about what C3.AI does, but the ticker has the letters AI in it. So <laughs> maybe it's gonna go higher with the AI wave. I can say I do really like, I like enjoy trading this particular stock, especially using the long-term moving averages. It's kind of like my core place to buy and sell off of. AI is a really, really fun one. Some of the other big ones that you may have already thought about, definitely NVIDIA. Yes, absolutely Microsoft. And without question, Google will be a huge front runner in all things AI and artificial intelligence. But I got one that you might not have thought of. And this is probably why you're in this video. Ticker symbol, CME. What is CME? Oh, CME Group, like the financial institution, the one essentially investing, banking the entire stock market, the one that's in control of tons and tons of different exchanges, different routes, different orders, different brokers, different market makers. Fascinating. Yeah, they're gonna benefit from this for sure. In fact, anything stock market related that has a direct port into the stock market where people are paying for fees or transactions, they're gonna benefit as well. Just like the NASDAQ, which is you know, the, uh, the QQQ, or of course, NASDAQ Inc, ticker symbol NDAQ, which you can also buy and they're gonna do pretty well over time as well, especially if you buy it at 55. But if you get a good zoom out, here's the NASDAQ Inc from an investing standpoint. You buy a little bit of CME and a little bit of this one over time. And when the AI wave starts flooding and there's gonna be more money, more liquidity, more software, more human engineering, more behavioral engineering coming into the markets, that for sure will absolutely speed up all the transactions, putting more money and more liquidity into the pockets of the market and the market makers and the exchanges. Therefore, if you buy some of their stock, you'll probably benefit from it. Anyway, what did I leave out in the video? Post in the comment section below if there's something else that you would like me to talk about, address as it relates to the stock market. I hope this has been helpful and beneficial for you. Thank you for watching. And you already know this is YouTube. You know how it works. If you notice there's a red button below this, if it's red, it shouldn't be red. Make it not red, right? Cool, thanks. Thank you.